This is an ad for Disney. Hey guys, we're here outside of Good Morning America in New York City to celebrate World Penguin Day, and we're so excited to get started. We're gonna move this party into Times Square and see if we can find some penguin fans. Let's go. I forgot to waddle. My partner left. Are you left. kidding me? I was like, where did you go? What are you, you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the only thing you had. We needed bloopers. I bet your favorite movie is not even good. It is, actually. Yeah. It's Hercules. Why? Who doesn't want to be strong? This guy. We're here with another fan of Club Penguin, and what's your name? My name is Emerald Kick. I'm Sanjana Lampasov. I'm Priyanka Lampasov. Dynamt. Asha Tannen. Master Surge. Morgan. Angela. Patricia. I'm Michael. I'm Reem. Welcome. Thank you, and since it's World Penguin Day, we'd like to ask you, what are some of your favorite things about penguins? I think they're just like really cute and fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah, right? I think I'd have to say probably the funny penguin walk that they oh, do. The waddle? Yeah, the waddle. Yeah, yeah uh, we've been doing it all day. And so we're gonna ask you a few questions about Club Penguin Island. So what's your favorite okay. part about it? My favorite part about it is the adventures. My favorite oh. adventures is chapter two of the Antarctic Adventures. One of my favorite things of, of so far is the Antarctic chapter two missions. Cool, yeah. and we know there's some recognizable characters that show up, so are there any that are your favorite? I think Jetpack Guy is the best redesign so far. Yeah, he's pretty it cool. I know he's a favorite, yeah. For the most part, penguins live A, in water, B, on land, C, to party. On land. On land, yes. I mean, C, obviously, to party as well, but... <laughs> Would you rather wear a tuxedo for the rest of your life or waddle everywhere you go like a penguin? Waddle everywhere I go. <laughs> okay, okay. Would you rather wear a tuxedo for the rest of your life or waddle everywhere you go? Oh, uh, you already waddle. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Right. I know, I love waddling. Would you rather have the ability to fly or be able to hold your breath underwater for as long as you want? Fly for sure. All right, good answer. That's probably what I would cool. choose. Cool. Yeah, me for sure. Fly. Fly. fly is, that's yeah, a good choice sure. as well. I would also Definitely like to fly. Definitely the best way to travel. So, have you ever heard a penguin make a noise before? Um, yes, I've heard a penguin make a noise before. Do you think before? that you could make the noise for us? We're gonna have a little competition. We're gonna see which of you can imitate a penguin better, okay? So and we'll can, be the judges. We'll be the judges. So, a little waddle, a little honk, let's see it. Honk, honk, honk. Not bad, right? not bad. So, it's kind of like, kind of like that. A little bit, exactly like that, actually. Uh, but, ow, oh. ow. Oh. Baby wow, penguin. That's it's pretty cute. good. Yeah, it's good. That's Mine's really kind good. of like a. <laughs> okay, impressive. <laughs> okay, we need, we need to discuss real quick. What do you think? Get your throne. It's okay. There's deep oh. voice penguins. Oh, oh good one. Oh. Like that? Was yeah, that? exactly like that. So thank you guys for coming out to celebrate World Penguin Day with us. We have some pins yes. for you guys to thank you. Happy World Happy Penguin, penguin, penguin day. day. Thanks for coming. Happy World, World Penguin, penguin day. day. Bye, Penguin Thanks family. For now we're headed to the New York Aquarium to meet a penguin handler and hopefully learn a little bit more about penguins. You ready to go? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Hey guys, I also wanted to let you know that for every download of the app, Club Penguin Island is donating $1 up to $50,000 to support penguins in the real world. And we've already passed the halfway point, so make sure to download the app soon to help us reach our goal. Should I say we're out here in the rain? Is that okay? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> As you can tell by Bobby's glasses, we're in the rain. So we are out here in the rain at the New York Aquarium. We're here with penguin handlers Stephanie and Frankie, and they're going to tell us a little bit more about their days as penguin handlers. What does a day in the life as a penguin handler look like? Um, so we spend a large majority of our day cleaning this exhibit. Um, so we are making sure the exhibit's nice and clean, and then we're also cleaning um, the hutches that the penguins um, spend their day in. So those big holes that you can see in the exhibit um, are their little hutches where they'll kind of nest and hang out. So we're also cleaning those. Um, we feed these guys two to three times a day, um, and then we're monitoring their health and their well-being, them providing um, their well-being, providing them with enrich enrichment um, and other types of good stuff like that. So, what's your favorite part of being a penguin handler? 
Um, so I think for me, uh, my favorite part is getting to watch these guys grow up, kind of um, see them when they're babies. So a lot of these guys were hatched here, so we got to um, start working with them when they were just days old and kind of see them um, grow up and part of, uh, become a part of the colony um, and kind of get their personalities and see how they fit into the group. Um, so in this exhibit, we have 21 um, different penguins, um, all African black-footed penguins, um, a wide variety of ages. Um, so our youngest penguin, Pickles, who is right here, um, you guys might notice that he looks a little bit different than everybody else. He hasn't um, molted um, into his adult coat yet, um, so he kind of has that grayish look to him. Um, and this summer he'll molt for the first time and he'll get that adult pattern like everybody else, that really distinct black and white. Um, so he is our youngest. Um, and then Bert, who is around here somewhere, um, well, she's behind Stephanie. Um, she's our oldest penguin and she was born in 1991. Um, so there are 21 birds out here all with different personalities. And how many different types of penguins are there in the world? Um, so scientists believe there's about 17 different species of penguins, um, all of which live in the southern hemisphere, um, in the Antarctic, off of the coast of Africa and Australia, lots of different places, but all in the southern hemisphere where the water is cold. So on a typical day, uh, what do you feed the penguins? Um, so these guys eat two different types of small schooling fish, um, both capelin, which is that one there, um, and then herring, which is a little bit bigger and a little bit higher in fat. Oh. Yum. And is there any fun facts that you would like to share with our audience about penguins before we go? Sure. Um, so these guys generally weigh about six to nine pounds and they can be as tall as about two feet. Um, and kind of one of the most common questions we get is, peng is do penguins have knees? Um, penguins do in fact have knees, but they are on the They're inside of their body. Um, so that's kind of what gives them that funny little waddle. Big thank you to Stephanie and Frankie for showing us the penguins and teaching us a little bit. So now we're gonna head inside and learn a little bit more. Waddle off. What? Director John and we're gonna ask him a bit more about the exhibits here and what he does so what does a day in the life look like for you well as the director of the New York Aquarium I have to make sure that the aquarium runs smoothly I work with all the great staff some of whom you've met to make sure that the guest experience is really great and I work with scientists our animal staff and others to make sure that we're really getting a conservation message out there that everybody is getting turned on to the idea that they can make a difference That's awesome. this is an ad for Disney so what's your favorite part of the day as a director? Honestly, and this is uh, a secret you have to keep to yourself, okay. the favorite part of my day is when I stand in the lobby early in the morning when all the school groups come in, because it's amazing. You see kids coming in through the doors shouting, oh, we're gonna see sharks! And it's really, really cool. That's probably that's awesome. where I feel like what we do makes a difference. I'm pretty sure that's what we did too, exactly except mine was like the otters. <laughs> oh, <that's> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And so do you have a favorite animal or exhibit here? Well, I have, had to choose. if I had to choose, I'd have to admit that we have a California sea lion named Osborne who uh, has been with us forever. He's a big athletic animal, but he's also really good at giving kisses. I know. That's super cute. So for the people watching out there, uh, what is something that people, specifically kids, can do to help the animals here and animals around the world? So that's a really good question because I think what people overlook is the idea that things you do in your day-to-day -day life that seem to have no connection to the ocean really do. So one thing that I would ask everybody out there is reduce your use of plastic. It's everywhere and it's choking our oceans and it really affects wildlife. And there's ways you can do that that are very simple. If you go to our website or on the web, you can find ways to reduce your plastic use. Thank you so much. Thanks for And coming. thank you for all the information. Yeah, we super enjoyed it. It was so cool to learn more. And we hope everyone watching also enjoyed it. Happy, Happy World, World Penguin, Penguin Day! Day. She's good right oh, there, sorry. just a little bit. Uh, move back just a little bit. That's good. Okay, now move up, because you moved back. You move like up back just a little down. bit more. There you go. Move up towards me, just snip him. Yeah, right there. Um, and you move up too, actually, just a little bit. Now do the hooky pokey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us as we toured around New York City to learn more about World Penguin Day. I hope you enjoyed learning about penguins as much as we did. And if you want to learn more, you can check out Bobby's video below. So if you guys had as much fun as I did, make sure you download the Club Penguin Island app on the App Store or Google Play. So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy World Penguin Day. We're signing off. See you guys. One more waddle off for old time's sake? Sure, why not? Okay, let's do it.